This is Nesbeth. All when I'm here alone, I still have stay strong. The world full of hate, I know they have to stay long. Till me dead, you know, a straight nation. Now sell me soul, me love, me salvation. Keep it locked. You're watching. Straight up with the general himself. Big soul. I know a Nesbeth I endorse. No. A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen Welcome once again to Straight Talk with Big Stone Today I'm going to talk to you about a couple That was once married and separated after 15 years We're talking about Mike Wersky and Eileen Now Mike was one of those husbands that just used to lay around the house and not do much And his wife was Practically the caretaker. Anyhow, they couldn't get along and they finally divorced. About a few months later, Mike bought a $10 mega million dollar lottery ticket in New Jersey. Got home and found out that he's the sole winner to $273 million in US currency. It has been rumored now that his wife Eileen wants to sue him. Now a lot of people might be saying, Oh, Eileen didn't care too tough about him. That's why she divorced him. Eileen wants some of his money. Uh, 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 uh. All of you are wrong. That's not the case. And that is why I'm doing this straight talk today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you about love loyalty wrongs excuse and I'm sorry now if you're involved in a relationship with someone and you practically met that person when you was about 20 21 years old and you bought children and after you bring these children somehow the meeting of the minds between you and your husband, apparently, are not actually meeting each other. So in terms of your beliefs and so on, it might differ from your wife. And I'm going to say, this is not a story about my life. I'm just speaking hypothetically. And um, somehow... The husband takes a different pathway and the wife thinks that that's not the pathway that the husband should have taken. And they spoke back and forth and they could not come to an amicable understanding as to where the husband wants to go and where the wife wants to go. I think that the edge, based on how society is made up, should have been given to the husband. And I'm not just saying it because I am a husband. I'm saying this because it is said that the man is the leader of the house. And in this particular hypothetical scenario, this man is a true leader. This man can get the job done. It has been proven time and time again that he can get the job done. But somehow, there's a separation. I use that scenario to bring you back up to Eileen, the wife or the former wife of my worst kid. And um, she learned after she divorced her husband that she had to pay alimony. And she decided to do so. Remember, in, in, in most American states, if the wife is doing a little bit better than the husband, then the wife should. And if the husband is doing a little bit better than the wife, then the husband should, you know, and I like, I like that, you know, help each other, because that's what it's all about. But when everybody talking about, oh, Eileen is going to sue, she's going to sue, she want half of the money. She did an interview recently, and that interview that she did 
open up my eyes that there are great true women out there and there's still great true brothers men out there because both of them are great people and I'm gonna tell you why when the reporter asks Eileen if she wants to take her former husband to court to sue him for half of the 273 million dollars or if she's entitled to anything of the 273 million dollars and you know what she said? No. I'm not taking him to court. I don't want any of his money. I don't want any of his money. You know why I am taking him to court? Because I'm still paying Ali money to the courts for him. I'm still taking care of him. All I want for the courts is cease and desist. Me taking care of him. He can take care of himself now. I applaud you. But guess what? Mike wasn't too far gone. Some reporter confronted Mike and said, Mike, how come your wife not suing you for half of the money? And Mike said, but listen, if $273 million doesn't make me all right for her to want to come back to, to hell, but uh, that's it. And he just kind of packed his stuff and went into the sunrise. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I was in that kind of situation, I'm going to put myself now. This is Big Stone talking to you. And I've been with a woman for 15 years. And that woman look out for me. Through all the trials and the tribulation, that woman was there for me. Now, I'm a multi millionaire with 273 million US dollars and say that woman that my wife had children for me I would split it 50-50 that's a whole lot of money my wife had three children for me I would give her half of that latter she deserved it and more because she was there for me look out for me see Make me a father on Father's Day, even when I'm not there. So I would share that money 50 50 with me and my wife, even if we are separated. And this is where I applaud Eileen. Eileen, you're a great woman. Money cannot buy happiness. You could have billions upon billions of dollars. You cannot buy happiness. Fake. But most of all, money cannot buy time. And with time, there comes life. Put Stuart a multimillionaire. They're not here today. Some of the greatest, richest people, Michael Jackson. He's not here today. Elvis Presley is not here today. A lot of great people with a lot of great wealth, they're not here today. But we are. So money should never be the deciding factor between true love. And that is why I applaud this woman, Eileen, because she said, listen, he is not worth my time. $273 million cannot buy my time. And then he said, well, listen, if I am not worth $273 million to you, please go. What would you do? Make a comment in the comment section below and tell Big Stone what you would have done. Tell me what you would have done if you was Eileen. Would you want half of the money, a quarter? Because remember, you're no longer married, you know. A third? You tell me. And if you was Mike, what would you do? Would you share the money 50-50? Or 
you and I have been together for 15 years, give her $1 million for each year, $15 million, that will be okay. You be the judge. You tell me in the comment section below what do you think about it. As for me, be the kind of wife that look out for me when I wasn't nobody and help me and I now have two hundred and seventy three million dollars you bet your bottom dollar she's gonna be the richest woman in the mother world share the bad times with the good times and the good times with the bad times I salute you Eileen says she don't want nothing she just want to stop the polymony a pile of money, them call it all the money. Them just tap the pile of money or all the money. That's all she needs. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Straight Talk with Big Story.